Australia looking to get on the board first in the men's softball World Cup, but Jonathan Cardona says no. Pegs him at home. Umpire says you're out. Huge, huge punch out from the umpire there. Watch this. Ball into center field. Jonathan Cardona. Yep. Ooh, did you see the the runner on second? Give him a little fake here. Ooh. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> throw up some throw up some magic hands on oh <laughs> a little dis- <laughs> little distraction didn't work didn't notice that the first time umpire gets the call correct loves that he got it correct bam you're out cardone on center field bam vamos that's something you missed that you never planned on watching and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching it's brought to you by our good friends over at DraftKings casino boom Boom, here we go. We got the FA Disability Cup, and it's the blind final where my baggies are taking on the Royal National College for the blind, but Paul Leobo, he evens it up right away. They were down, lefty kick right there, so they're all blind, but they wear the 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 blindfolds to make sure they're all equally blind. Oh my goodness. But the keepers can see. So that was a nice save there by RNC keeper, but penalty kick Leobo again puts it in. That's his second of the game. Watch this. We're going to have a red card here. You just can't be running around all willy nilly like that. Running into people lay off them. Boing, boing, go baggies, red card. You're out. He's scared of it. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. He knocked him right on the ground. Watch 14. He's like, dude, get out of here. Not cool. Another kick with 22 seconds left. Misses. That would have been his fourth. Leobo's the second player ever to record a hat trick in the history of the FA Disability Cup final. And it helped his team win. Boing, boing. Come on, you baggies. It's Olympic qualifying season and be prepared to fall in love with Cassidy Cook and Sarah Bacon and I am now rooting for them and I will follow their story as long as you guys remind me and tweet at me or message me like, hey, they're going to dive soon. It's synchronized diving. Women's synchronized three meter springboard final. Watch this though. I, I needed to show you a bunch of their earlier dives. They've known each other since they were eight years old. They're now synchronized diving partners, and they're the best. They led every step of the way. Every time they dove, they were top of the leaderboard and just kept going higher and higher and higher. One, two, three, up, down, up, down, up, down. Beautiful. How do you do that? How do you do that? You know, like I can mirror someone if I'm watching them. That's crazy to me. Oh, the coach loves it. Now watch their second one where the difficulty gets a little like that creep step. That just feels like adding it for no reason. Oh, the crowd loves it. Look how in sync they are blowing my mind and boop and boing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like thoroughly. Crazy impressive. So this is their last dive of the event. They need to score 4.5 or better from the judges, and they win the finals. They're off to Paris for the Olympics. And what they're going to do is a forward two-and-a-half somersault, one twist, and there it is. And there they go. And everyone, yes, yes. Everyone, They don't need the judges. They're crying. They're crying because they're cooking bacon in the Olympics. Look at those shirts. Can you look at those shirts? <laughs> Cooking bacon. And look at this shirt. <laughs> oh, look at how proud they are. I was proud. They start they start tearing up right away. They don't even need the judges. Judges don't need you. Everyone knows they've won. And they're better than what they need to go to the Olympics. Watch the slow-mo. I slowed this down so much because I was going like frame by frame and just having my mind blown. Like, look at this frame by frame. I know this is too slow for the video. That's crazy. They both touched the board at the same exact time. And then, you know, the same exact height. And then frame by frame till they touch the board again. 
Unbelievable. I, I don't really get it. It's very cool. It's very impressive. Synchronized diving, more impressive than solo, and I feel like it's not treated that way. That's way harder to do. Cooking bacon in Paris. I'm there, as long as you remind me to tune in. And I got to remind you that our friends over at the DraftKings Casino sponsored the episode today, and they are going to give you a nice deal where you can play just $5 and instantly receive 50 in casino credits, over 300 real money game slots, blackjack, roulette, live dealer games, whenever you want. New players sign up. You get $50 instantly in casino credits when you play just $5. Use promo code TYM. If you do this, that does help us a lot when you use the codes that we have. They track that. They track that to make sure we actually have an audience, which we do. Things You Missed has been doing great. The views have been consistent and awesome, and I love you guys, and thank you for tuning in. Genuinely, thank you. Let's keep it going because we had the biggest upset in the history of World Cup of Darts. Taiwan is up three legs to one against Ireland. Taiwan unranked. Their first time ever being in the World Cup of Darts. Ireland ninth overall. This guy, the older teammate on Taiwan, Tang Lee, he can win it right here. He can win it. I think he just got 19. Now he's going to get triple 18. So that's 97, 73 points, and he needed 97. 97 minus 73 is 24, so double 12, and he's got it. Oh, he missed. That would have won them the match, and it would have crushed them. But now, his name is Barry Keaton or something like that. It's a very Irish name. Misses, misses, and then gets double 10, which clears it. He needed 20 just at the end there. And then Ireland wins the next leg easily, so it's tied up three legs apiece, and now the greatest comeback in the history of World Cup of Darts might be off the table, but Tang Lee says, don't worry about it. Triple 20, that's 60. Triple 20, that's 120. Triple 20, that's 180. Holy shit, so the 261 becomes 81, and now they've got a massive lead. He steps up with just 12 to go and says, double six, see you later, Ireland. Bang! What a Sally. Ooh, Dan, oh, nope, shaking hands. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Good good competing against you. Oh, 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 dancing. Now, the younger dude, uh, the younger dude, Shang Lu, or Shang Li, he was the hero, but... Tang Lee, my dang, my dude. He was awesome. So that's the biggest upset in the World Cup of Darts. You guys missed that. You weren't planning on watching it. And now you know about it and you're excited. The Northwoods Baseball League. We have Luke Matthews, who's on third base as the winning run. Because we're tied at five apiece in the ninth. Crazy back and forth comeback in this game. This pitcher just got brought in to face this batter. Outside fastball. Come on, pull through. Finish the pitch. Next pitch, fastball right in there. Boom. One and one count. There's two outs. So the runner on third knows if this pitch is a strike, we're one strike away from losing this game, and the game's not in my hands. He's also said he's been timing the catcher the last two times he was on base. Luke Matthews said he's been timing the catcher. So you got a lefty in the box, so the the view's a little distorted. Throws it, instantly steals home. Boom, he's in there. Let's go. Catcher feels like a dummy. Gatorade guy crushes it. Watch this. Gets there fast, dumps it, follows up just to get the spillover out. Great job by him. And the photographers, like, everyone pose, everyone pose. I'm like, no way they're posing for you, dude. They're just celebrating. They're riled up. They can't even hear you. They're in their old world. Like, that's a brave move as a photographer to think you can get a bunch of 20-year-old dudes hyped up on adrenaline to just sit and pose for you. Screw me. He does it. Easy. That's more impressive than stealing home, in my opinion. We can't do that at the warehouse sometimes. Bam. Strike. Don't worry about it. I'm coming home. He's in there. Let's go. That was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you want to vote for fan of the week, boom, 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 boom. That's your options. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.